Welcome to Inside My Kitchen. I'm Chef Bradley Miller of the Inna 7th Ray. I'm going to be showing you how to make a crab and avocado roll with ponzu fluid gel, shiso pea puree, radish, and a little bit of nori. I eat a lot of sushi, so I, I really like the kind of flavors that go with sushi, but I didn't want to make, basically I didn't want to make a sushi roll at the restaurant, but I wanted those same kind of flavors and the same kind of Japanese influence to kind of be a part of the dish. So what it is, it's, it's, it's very contemporary American. It's very, there's Japanese, French, there's all different kinds of techniques to make this one little thing. First thing you want to do with any ready to eat product is put gloves on. Especially when you deal with avocado because the warmth of your hands and the oils from your fingers will dig into the avocado. So I always wear gloves. You'll notice that if you ever cut an avocado at home, you'll always, it'll, it'll get on your fingers. But if you use gloves, it kind of gets that oil off and it tempers the heat a little bit so you don't melt the uh, avocado. And for this, you kind of got to move a little, a little bit fast so the avocado doesn't heat up. So first thing I did, I just cut it in half. And then what you got to do is peel it. And try to peel in big chunks. And for this, what you want to do is you want to get a really sharp knife and you want to take the edges off. And then the key to this is you want to just do nice, even slices like that piece. That's about what you're looking for. So next thing you want to do is you want to get a cutting board and you want to wrap it in plastic wrap. That's the key to this. That's going to cause enough friction so when we roll it, it sticks down tight and it kind of comes in a little bit. So you're not just rolling it like this and it just keeps sliding. It will create friction and it will help it come together. So you want to have the green side on the outside first, that's the presentation side. Put it in your hand and then just kind of slide it. You want to kind of shingle it. We're going to put this avocado on top of this plastic wrap and then we're going to roll it up. Once that's laid out, take your fresh crab. So all this is a Lassen King crab, a little bit of homemade mayonnaise. This is uh, chili, garlic, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of dried, uh, dried scallop. It's basically sriracha. And then just mix that together. Depending on how much, how much heat you want, add your, you, know, you can add more of the chili sauce. And this is the shiso vinaigrette. All this is is uh, shiso leaves, ginger, shallot, uh, olive oil, and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And I just do about half a teaspoon in there. What you want to do is you want to take a nice little, little handful, and you want to spread it out. I wouldn't say this is the hard part, but this is where you kind of got to be careful. What we're going to do is you got to kind of touch it with your fingers right here, bend it in, press it down, and then let it touch each other like that. Make sure the plastic wrap is not folded underneath or it won't come out. Back it up a little bit, and then I pinch the sides, roll it up again, and then here's where the plastic wrap comes in handy. You want to pinch the sides, and the plastic wrap does the work for you. I don't have to put any pressure on it, but if you're going to serve it right away, like we are, take a very, very sharp knife. And then you want to find your seam. And then you take a little bit of the shiso vinaigrette that was inside of it and you just douse it up a little bit. And that's kind of give it that vinegary, acidic flavor you usually want with avocado and with crab. So what we're going to do is we got our plate right here and see we cut it just so it fits almost perfectly. And then what we do is we take a little bit of uh, this right here is also more shiso. It's a shiso pea emulsion and it basically is just um, fresh peas blanched and shocked, which is hot water and then cold water, and then pureed up with a little bit of shisa leaf, a little bit of lemon juice and water. Let's get a little dab right here. And then what we'll do is a couple dots on the actual product. Then we go with the uh, Ponzu fluid gel. And what you want to do is you want to get, a, honestly, you want to get a good amount of it on there because this is really what's going to give it the flavor. Then what we do is we just garnish it with a little bit of more fluid gel right here, a little bit of a thin sliced red onion. And these don't have to look, I mean, doesn't have to look perfect because this is all going to get covered up with garnish. And then these are just nori that's been cut out into circles and then cut in half into half moons. And right here, this is just garnish. These are just microgreens. And that is the crab, avocado, ponzu fluid gel, and shiso. Thank you for coming inside my kitchen. And that's how to make the avocado crab with ponzu fluid gel and shiso pea puree. And I'm Chef Brad Miller of the Unit 7th Ray.